Welcome! Today we are going to open Gemstone Whispers deck. This is really pretty. Um, it's just a weird like random Amazon find. I just stumble across. They suggest stuff and I'm like, yeah, sure. Uh, really like the way this one looked. Um, so this is an oracle, I believe? Sometimes we do tarot, sometimes I just love cardomancy and all things superstitious and weird and fun. So if you like things that are fun as well, you might like it here. <laughs> Either way, we're going to unbox it and flip through this together. So this is pretty. I will read it real quick. Explore gemstone whispers where ancient cosmic gems. I love that. Born of explosions billions of years ago. Hold unique frequencies. History's attributes and elements uncover insights and embrace transformational energies on your journey this deck will give messages and guidance on life career love help finds your answer wait help finds help finds your answer or help find your answer either way <laughs> okay i don't know why that looks so weird to me there is no guidebook included with this deck these are meant to be used completely based on your own intuition and interpretation they also may be used in conjunction with any other tarot or oracle decks. I love that. I use all mine in conjunction with conjunction function. <laughs> What's your function? Isn't that the song? I don't remember. How funny. I'm old. Um, yeah. I just thought these looked super pretty. I'm excited about this one. It's, obviously, I like rocks. <laughs> I'm from Utah, and rock hounding is huge. We have Zion, so there's little cool rock shops everywhere. Everybody wants to take a rock home from here. But what's funny, what they don't realize is most of the rocks sold here, they're not from Utah. I watched some tourists get really upset in the store saying, I want a genuine from Zion rock. I want to buy and take. And they were from out of the country, I believe. I think they wanted to take it home to Europe or something. And it's like, well, you know, geodes are not exactly local. <laughs> if you want the pretty color geodes, you're going to have to get them from like New Mexico, I think is a big one. They're all over the place. But, and I'm not an expert on that. I don't know why I'm trying to talk about it. I just, I know that. I think it's funny when people get upset. <clears throat> But you gotta realize, um, not all of those rocks come from here. They come from all over the world, <laughs> which is why I like rocks so much. And some of them come from outer space. So if you're a rock weirdo and enthusiast like me, uh, this deck might be for you as well. I love that. So this is the box, pretty. Um, our thickness, actually, these are fantastic quality wise. This was not an expensive deck. This was either 20 or below. I generally try to stick to about 20 bucks a a deck when you have over 50 card decks you know <laughs> i don't need to spend a ton on them it's just a fun hobby side thing so <clears throat> cardomancer love i guess here we go agate fresh start as long as i am breathing in my eyes wait breathing <laughs> breathing in my eyes there is a comma <laughs> that should be read differently <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Fresh start. As long as I am breathing in my eyes, I am just beginning. Oh, I love this deck already, you guys. This is super cute. Cool. I feel like my other knife. Let's just put this in the shop. We're going to have all my knives in here if we're not careful. <laughs> I would have the candle lit, but Thunder was up here earlier and wouldn't stop. I hate my background today. Normally, I like to have a fun, cute stuff everywhere. This is so boring. Amazonite! Oh my gosh, I have I own so much of this stuff. Love this stuff. Truth, but better to get hurt by the truth than comforted with a lie. It's true. I'd rather be an a-hole and honest than <laughs> butter me up. <laughs> like sometimes truth is so much better and I hate lawyers. <laughs> so, just be a jerk sometimes. Sometimes oh, it was so cute. So every Sunday we shop at Walmart for groceries. Um I love going there. You see the craziest things from products to people, really. <laughs> and it's like, when I'm having a bad day and I think I'm struggling, I'm like, I go there and I see some strange people that maybe took some things before they got there and are acting really fun in there. <laughs> and I look at them and I'm like, you know what? I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. <laughs> I'm going to be okay. <laughs> I love Walmart. <laughs> and then the, the products are insane too, but yeah. Oh boy, where was I going with that? How do we get to Walmart from Amazonite? Oh shoot. 
totally lost my train of thought there. Dang it. Oh, well. Oh, jerks. Oh, that's what it was. There's my cute. Sorry, that was loud. Oh, it's so cute. So we have the this lady that checks us out. She's the same lady every time. I guess we can keep going. Um, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, man, this is the coolest deck ever. Um, so she checks us out every time. Her name is Carol. <laughs> and my kid pointed that out. Because <laughs> I never noticed her name tag, but we talk every single time. She's hilarious. Um, I always have a bunch of pet stuff that, to ring up for her to ring up. So she always asks about our, our menagerie, basically. <laughs> she gets very excited about critters as well, and it's super cute. But I was in line in a different uh, checkers line, and she had to, she snuck past me, like behind me. And I, I didn't see her, my hair sometimes is in my face. And um, so I kind of was like, oh, oops, sorry, <laughs> like and scooted out of her way. And she <laughs> yells from across the thing. She goes, no, you're not. <laughs> I don't know why I think that is the cutest, coolest thing ever. Because I do that a lot. And I think a lot of us do that. We're just apologizing all the time for, like, dumb things that don't need to be apologized for. It's just I'm awkward right now and don't know what else to do. Like, uh, in um, Talladega Nights, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> you know? like, I guess that's just the, the natural reaction. It's just, oh, sorry. I don't know so funny how we have to interact with other people. People freak me out, I guess. <laughs> I'm not good at peopling, so I'm like uh, socially retarded, basically. Adventuring, look at that. Fortune, this one's beautiful. Chance is the first step you take. Luck is what comes afterwards. Oh, I'm gonna have to get more adventuring then. <laughs> I do anything green is luck and money, right? Generally. Bloodstone! Bloodstone's real cool. This makes me think of dragons. I don't know why. I like bloodstone. You have more power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Oh, cool. Carnelian! Pretty! Daisy always picks Carnelian. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bowlines? Oh, that's a sailing thing. Sail away bow lines, probably. <clears throat> I don't know my boat talk. <laughs> Sorry. So throw off the bow lines. Sail away from the safe harbor. Catch the trade winds in your sails. Explore, dream, discover. This is such a cool deck. Oh, I love this one. I haven't seen it in other people's readings, really. I wonder if it's not as popular as I thought. Um, it seems fairly new, though, actually. I I bought it, I hadn't, sometimes I'll save decks in my cart for a very long time, and then I'll just, on a weird whim, check them out as I please, <laughs> you know? Um, but I like to really think about them, because I don't, I have, I'm running out of room, <laughs> I'm not. The husband would build me a, whatever I wanted if I was like, I need a shelf. I have shelves, I just, I don't like any of my systems. I actually bought a cart to keep all my decks on. It's getting a little out of control because now the cart is full. <laughs> I call it my Tower of Tarot, and I have so many now at this point. I have friends with, like, Nova Luna Tarot. She's amazing. Check her channel out. Um, love her. Love you, girl. Um, she has over 400 decks, so I'm not doing so bad. I had, like, 40, and, and now I have about 50 after Christmas, <laughs> I think. So I'm not doing too crazy. I mean... But I have that weird collector's mentality that whatever I like and get into, I'm going to want one of every color, you know? <laughs> so it's bad. But I come from hoarders, so I guess that makes sense. Ooh, Garnet, Justice. Mercy bears richer fruits than strict justice. Ooh, yeah, I believe in divine justice because our actual justice system sucks. <laughs> Hematite. Oh, the devil. Hell is empty and all the devils are here. Whoa. Crazy, actually, hematite um, wards off negativity, doesn't it? I don't know. I like a lot of the black rocks because they do shield from negativity. Is kind of the whole theme to most of them. Obsidian is mega cool. They make all kinds of. Did you know obsidian can cut as sharp as uh, scalpels? But the problem with that is it leaves behind teeny tiny little microscopic shards. 
so you wouldn't want like you could skin a hide with it no problem but i would never use it in an operation on a human because of what it would leave behind or for food you don't want to cut your food with it and ingest it you know but obsidian is amazing and they used to use it as mirrors um and they scribed with it they make a lot of ceremonial tools out of obsidian and a lot of really cool weaponry we have uh arrowheads everywhere here again i'm in the desert not far from zion and if you get lost in the mountains here uh, we have homies that find like the coolest stuff up there they just go like redneck about <laughs> and bring back the neatest stuff so there are a lot of male rock hounds you would never uh realize open i have a lot i've since i was a little kid this is the one that i have always i buy I've always have a lot of lapis but i never understood as a little kid like the meaning of behind rocks so as i got older i was like that's really cool because <laughs> i don't talk about this but i died when i was a, a little girl I don't think I've just when I came back ever since I've just kind of been scaring people <laughs> so um, I really like this is a super psychic one they say uh yeah open the only way to find true happiness is to risk being completely cut open man this deck is deep y'all <laughs> cute I'm loving this one. Oh, this is just the most beautiful deck wow um I actually thought it was a lot more diamond diamonds. We're, we're, we're covering a lot of all kinds of rocks. Malachites, come on. Reserving judgments is a matter of infinite hope. Cool. <clears throat> moonstone. I usually avoid moonstone. <laughs> and here's a not like TMI. Um, they say like it affects um, women's like ovulation stuff. So like not to have it around when you're, it's that time of the month uh, or you'll get real weird. So secret, if you want to keep a secret, you must also hide it from yourself. And the moon uh, in tarot and stuff is always uh, intuition and not exactly secrets, but like shy, like your secrets being sh sh exposed, I guess. I don't know how I'm trying to word this. The moon has got some really cool symbology. And I don't care if you believe or don't believe in any of it. I really, truly just, all this stuff is just fun. And just let things be fun. Don't take anything too serious. You know, tarot's really cool. I've had, I've got some really cool stories. Um, but I would never, ever be like, that's definitely going to happen. You know, <laughs> like, the future is fluid and, and can always change, you know. This is so cute, Morganite. Um... That one matches my nails so good. <laughs> I almost want to say that might get the, the thumbnail. Y'all know I like to pause on a thumbnail sometimes. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. There's my obsidian. Look at that. Death, get out. Favorite card of the deck. It gets obsidian. To the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. Oh, that is so perfect. <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> uh the death represents uh eternal life basically in tarot so it is my favorite card as i am the morbid medium <laughs> so, cool pearl look at that intuition intuition is seeing with the soul oh that could be a really pretty thumbnail too you know every single one of these is like could be framed as artwork and so motivational this is super cute i hope to hang with this deck all the time just wake up and start the day with one of these cute little reminders this is fun direction if you don't know where you're going any road will take you there <laughs> very vague and true yeah yeah <laughs> it's like all this fun spiritual stuff it's the husband's always like you can read into that and he's a very skeptical person kind of i mean like it's funny He's spiritual too, but in a weird, different way. He was raised super duper Mormon. And they kind of turned on him, so <clears throat> we are not. <laughs> I like turning away those missionaries. They don't like it, but I do. I do not like that church or that religion. They are very nice people, but I do not like organized religion. And I think it's a bit culty. <laughs> I don't like what I see going on over there. 
selenite magic oh cute so we have what's called um they call it glitter mountain we go visit glitter mountain all the time because we ride we have well i don't as much lately the husband wishes i would beg to go <laughs> and the kids but we take the raisins out sometimes he he dirt bikes every weekend so he works all the time but his one favorite thing to do is his dirt bikes so but we have a place not far from here where it's a big mine and they used to kind of close it up. They've had, now that it's, it went on Pinterest basically and blew up. And so the people that own the rights to it got a little bit upset. <laughs> they were like, okay, I don't care if you come and take like a little handful, but people were showing up with buckets. We went one time and there was somebody with a laundry basket and like a sledgehammer. <laughs> so at that point they were like, okay, we're going to close it. We're going to, we're going to chain link it off. And they've actually since opened it up. It's still open to the public, but they have a big um, Venmo sign that you can like scan your phone and pay them or something. Like you just pay what you think you took is worth or whatever, which is a really cool idea. So there's still like that's a local family friendly uh, touristy adventure. And even the locals go, we go. <laughs> it's fun. Sparkly stuff. Everybody likes sparkly stuff. Star, I have loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. Hmm. Gotta be careful with your selenite though, because it will, uh, water is not good and it's very fragile. It falls apart like crazy. So, sunstone, pretty. Tiger's eye, courage, cute. Girls always pick tiger's eye because I think it has the word tiger in it. <laughs> We're cat psychos. Topaz, turquoise. Oh, I have so much. I ah, love turquoise. Who doesn't, right? That's a big one again, out here in the desert. <laughs> Turquoise is everywhere, we all love it. And silver, I love them. this metals weirdo. Happiness, happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. That is a really cool message. That's like the magician card. Um, <clears throat> that's when magic happens, man, is when you're in balance with all the cool elements and you're all just well-rounded. What is it, mind, body, soul kind of thing? That's a cool message uh, and a cool mantra. I think all cultures kind of, that's a everybody <laughs> one or it should be. <laughs> I learned so much uh, studying all kinds of spiritualities and, and cultures and a lot of them are super similar. They just have different, they call the same things, different things like Ouroboros and Yermungandr and stuff. They're the same critter. They just give them different, it's a different culture and they've named it different. <laughs> so each one kind of has its own. It's weird. I noticed that like even the Mormons, the, um, the, they do incantations and stuff. So I mean, it's all across the board. All religions kind of copy the same structure, I guess, if you will. And a lot of the same weird rituals and tools are used. So. They're all kind of trying to do the same thing. Hope Diamond Wrath. This is cool. The best fighter is never angry. Hope Diamond. Isn't that the, the cursed... Is it a wives tale scary story about that? Isn't it? There's one that's really cursed. It's pretty cool. Dang it. I wish I could think of it. Kind of like the monkey. There was one about a... a, a uh, shoot. A taxidermy monkey that was haunted or something. <laughs> I like taxidermy because my brother used to do it and I used to get to help him do taxidermy. And it was nothing like going out to the chest freezer to grab my waffles and opening it up to like a big... He would place the critters in the freezer, this big chest freezer to where you open it and a big old cougar head would be <laughs> staring at you. <laughs> like he hadn't boiled it out yet. And, sorry, that was really morbid and gross. I'm gonna get in trouble in here one day. I think we're just gonna like unmonetize this one and should have warned y'all on that. But <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Misfor oh, don't like that. Misfortune. When the soul suffers too much, it develops a taste for misfortune. Actually, yeah, maybe because, you know, when you let go and forgive, like good things start to happen. You can't be filled with hate all the time. It's okay. We need anger sometimes. We gotta get stuff done. <laughs> If you can direct it correctly, anger is a good thing, but it's not something you want to hang on to all the time. It'll definitely drag you down. The Black Prince's Ruby Lust. Each of us is born with a box of matches inside of us, but we can't strike them all by ourselves. Hmm. Neato. 
the regent diamond arrogance oh the cleverness of me the great star of africa envy envy is the religion of the mediocre it comforts them it soothes their worries and finally it rots their souls allowing them to justify their meanness and their greed until they believe these to be virtues i say it a lot <laughs> i believe truly greed is the deadliest of all the sins <laughs> it leads to all the other sins usually aztec gold cool great oh it's greed <laughs> so i'm like cool <laughs> um our eyes are bigger than our stomachs and now we have more curiosity than understanding. We grasp at everything, but catch nothing except wind. Ooh, I'm a gold weirdo. I love gold. <laughs> I love all metals. That's uh, the most conductive one, right? That's why I like it. <laughs> Magnetic. Magnetism, me weirdo. Cool. Okay, I love this deck. Every single one of these. Flexibility test. <clears throat> Oops. With the nails, this sucks, but... Oh, they're wonderful. Okay, that was a terrible example, but... Without nails, I promise. They're perfect amount of flexibility. Oh my gosh. These ones are long, y'all. I can't even tuck them in. I love my claws for these videos, but I can't. After this, I'm going to be worthless for the day. So our initial ripple shuffle. Gorgeous. That's with nails on. That was still really awesome. So we got some vertical hand over hand. Card over card, whatever. Horizontal. Card. Ooh, they're a little slippery there. Wow. A mm. little bit slippery there. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Without nails, no problem. But uh, yeah, they do kind of stay pen. Huh. Might want to break these ones in a bit. They are a bit slick. A little bit slippery. They are uh, high gloss and they are a bit slippery. But I think once you work with them, not a problem, probably. So let's end on a fun note, right? <laughs> already a really long video why not not gonna go for a jumper struggling we gotta just oh lust Woo. the black prince's ruby lust each of us is born with a box of matches inside us but we can't strike them all by ourselves cool one two three four five six seven larimer be yourself <clears throat> be yourself everyone else is already taken oh that's so cute we didn't read that already we read this one already that's so cool yeah be yourself really um there was the one about being an a-hole or whatever be honest <laughs> it's better to just be honest and have real friends than fake people sometimes it's nice when people are like hey that doesn't help you don't have to be mean and give people a complex but i appreciate when my kids are like are you really gonna wear that and i'm like yeah why and they're like, you look 14. So I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go change. So sometimes being yourself is good. Kids are very honest. You know? <laughs> Illusion. Everything you can imagine is real. Ooh, I like this one. Citrine. Illusion. That's so cool. My favorite um, Nine Inch Nails song. Uh, what's it called? Everything Where It Belongs, I think is what it's called. It's kind of all about that. Very cool very very cool oh what a great note to end on wow i love you all thank you so much for spending time with me today my throat is getting raspy appreciate you so hard you guys are amazing love our youtube family always 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 i get to learn so much about people from all over the world i i get to ask so many questions and find out things i would never have ever got to know about so well youtube's cool the interwebs can be cool uh, as long as it's used in a good way <laughs> do something nice for yourself something nice for those around you uh, eat good be good <laughs> treat yourself good treat everybody good i love you bye bye